Hey, you sexy bitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Buddhism is not what you think is written by Steve Hagen. Uh, it offers a valuable hands-on guide in which examples from everyday life are presented alongside stories from Buddhist teachers past and present to banish misconceptions and inspire the newcomer or newcomers. Uh, Hagen clarifies what he sees as some severe misunderstandings about Buddhism and reincarnation and meditation. He is upset with those who practice Zen in order to achieve enlightenment, as though it were a prize to be attained. Instead, he states firmly, Zen practice is attending to this moment, seeing it for what it is. So, over the years, I have read many spiritual self-help books, religious books, Buddhist books, and anything that makes me feel connected on a spiritual yet mental level. Uh, the reason I decided to give this book a chance is because of the author, Steve Haggard. Uh, he is the author of the very first uh, Buddhist book I read. It's called Buddhism, Plain and Simple, and I absolutely love that book. It really changed my life for the better, when at a time I felt like, you know, I really couldn't do any better, or even good for that matter. It is because of that book I continued to read about Buddhism and the culture and the beliefs, and why I continue to try and be the best me that only I feel like I can be. That being said, I, uh, I, did, I did enjoy this book, but when you have read so many books from this genre, you start to realize that this book is very, in my opinion, white yogurt. It's just plain Jane compared to the other books in the genre, for that matter. Uh, this is one of the, those popular books on Buddhism, which seeks to come at its subject from an original angle, which I think is really cool. Even though the book tries to be original... For me personally, it did not connect to me on a spiritual level. Also, if you think this is a good book uh, for you to start learning about Buddhism, I would have to respectfully disagree. Personally, if you are interested, I would suggest books by Thich Nhat Hanh. He did books like The, Wrong, uh, the Long Road Turns to Joy, uh, The Dalai Lama, Deepak Chopra, or Alan Watts. Uh, one thing I also believe is the book is a little repetitive. I understand the author wants us to this kind of information to stick with you, but uh, at some points it feels like he's repeating himself and repeating chapters at this point. Overall, I believe this book is, is okay. Uh, these are my final bitch and Buddha thoughts. It's a nice book to read, but it's very plain Jane. I suggest another book by another author, and I'm going to give this book a 6 out of 10. Uh, so it's... It's there. It's decent. It's a nice cheap pickup. I paid a dollar for it at um at a Goodwill, and if you're spending more than five bucks on it, I wouldn't. Uh, but that those are my thoughts on the book. Uh, have a good day. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>